My name is Benjamin Stocker, and, with my trusty cameraman Peter Evans, I've dedicated my life to the search for a most elusive creature. We've spent weeks in the wilderness, covered in animal feces, drenched in sweat on the search. A fascinating beast, and a marvellous being, he exists on the fringes of imagination, living in the quiet borders of what you and I would call reality. He moves with unutterable grace, absorbing the world around him like a luminescent sponge. The one, the only Angus George. But who is he? What does he mean? And where is he hiding? This is Wild Goose Chase. Weeks of searching have led me here, to Buckingham. We decided we had to establish a base of operations. Day one, on the Wild Goose Chase. Follow me. Like any good investigation, we needed a headquarters. Down the hall. Welcome to HQ. As you can see on our wall, we've got the evidence board. The evidence board is an amalgamation of everything we know about the beast. We've managed to locate and narrow our search to Buckingham, a small market town on the fringes of Buckinghamshire. The pictures collate everything we know about Angus, everything we can possibly, possibly know. Here's some sort of affliction with this other beast. What you'll see here is a picture of a goose in its angriest attack mode. They speak through this throughout the ages. Ancient scriptures of Egyptians talk of how the goose would lower its head and come towards you like <laughs> as pictured here. Uh, this second picture appears to be some sort of, as I mentioned before, Egyptian glyphic of the beast. Uh, it exists in very different shades to any of the other evidence we've got, but you know, we take what we can in the mad hunt for the goose. This seems to be some sort of insignia attached to him. We fear this may be what he looks like. Looking towards the top here, you'll notice, uh, it's, it's, and we think it's a different breed of goose, though we can't be sure. The be beast is so mythical, it's just, it's an enigma. An enigma it really is. Down here, we've got more detailed images of, of what we think is the language the goose writes in. You can see these glyphics look an awful lot like W's. Years and years of training and research taught me that this means something. And this picture right here is the oldest known picture we have of Goose. Back from his vintage, vintage days. Uh, you can see he's donning a very nice open collar, which I find remarkably attractive. Similarly, this uh, this picture here is something. As you can see here, we have a picture of what I like to refer to as the Goose's Gang. Uh, it's a posse that follows him around and obeys his every order, though we have reason to believe, my sources on the street tell me, that this member on the end has since quit the gang and gone freelance. We fear this picture may be a picture of its uh, partner, which, with whom it mates for life. Uh, as you can see, it's in the early stages of pregnancy which means there could be more geese to find on the way. Peter, 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 come, come here, come here, come here. One of the people in my Goose Goose Gooses on the Loose Facebook group have spotted him and they posted a short clip. Come see, come see, come see. Isn't it marvellous? Look at his deep eyes and his long hair. Oh. Beautiful animal. Which makes me more determined than ever to find him. Beyond narrowing our search to Buckingham, we're yet to find any clues or any further, more specific locations of Angus. I think he goes to the Royal Athens School in uh, Shandos Road. P 
Peter, shut up. I'm thinking at the moment. I'm figuring we're going to have to search the whole town. Put up posters and, you know, get awareness going. Here to have found some geese. Ben, there's a duck. What? Oh yeah, baby. Oh, do you, do you mind if I call you Goose? Yeah, Goose. Yeah, that's that's so hard. I just oh shit, bollocks! Get that off. Turn it off. Hi, I was just wondering if you've seen this goose. All right, there's son. Yeah, I've seen that geese. Goes to Letting. He comes in every Friday for a spicy meatball Italian. Likes it right hot. He does. Really? Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. And so I had narrowed my search to the Royal Latin School. I decided the best course of action would be to interview some of the locals to glean what I could from their knowledge from many years of interactions with the mysterious goose. Uh, uh, hi. What was that? Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you. Welcome, welcome to the Wild Goose Chase. Thank you for coming in today. No problem. Pleasure to be here. Great. Right, uh, I'm just going to ask you a few, few questions about, about the goose. Yeah. Okay. How you feel. First question, uh, how, how long have you, have you known the goose? Um, is, the, is, the, is the camera rolling? Right. No. I don't really like him. I don't really know how long I've known him really. It's just, it's one of those people that's just there. I don't really pay attention to him. Um... Since, uh, since year 11 drama, and I, um, I was doing a Macarena dance, and he came in, and he saw the dance and uh, laughed in that uh, way of his. And, uh, I just knew this was, uh, not a friend, but uh, certainly a colleague at the school. I knew of his existence from there on. How long have you have you known the goose? Um, long enough to know that he's not to be tampered with. He's a dangerous individual. Well, the thing about goose is, it's not about how long I've known him. It's about what is goose, and something that me and goose have always shared, or perhaps I've shared <coughs> about goose is. You can lead a goose to water, but you can't make him drink. And I think that's a lesson that is really important for all of us. Uh, well, I guess that would have to be around the age of about 
four, five walk around the lake. Willen Lake, I think it was. Yeah, I have to, quite intimidating though, not not big as that. Did you did you interact with the goose at that time? No, no, no. I think mum and dad may have given it some bread, but I stayed well, 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 well away. You know what they can get like. Well, I first met him in German class and shit, and we were all like learning German, and it was all like really gay and shit. And then Miss Polly was all like, Angus, why don't you learn the German shit? And he was all like, I don't even care, man. I don't really, I don't, you don't own me. And then Angus went all like off on one, and then Miss Polly went off on one, and was all like, you're gonna be in like detention and shit. And Angus was all I, like, I, I think, I think if you just, uh, the, we, we uh, the, he, he sort of turned up to one of the tech rehearsals, and you just know. Just got the eyes and crossed the T's. I, I, he, he was sort of, we, we took him under our wing because he looked a bit lost uh, and we thought that, you know, as an audio technician he could find work. Yeah, dotting the T's and crossing the I's and shit, and it was great. <sighs> well, I mean, how long has the sun known the moon? I mean, <sighs> quite a long time. 11th of March 2009, actually. It's the first time I met him, and I remember thinking, you know, this guy's got something. Not, not quite as much as what I had, but... A little something that I liked. I... Well, yeah, I just, I heard about him just as much as anyone else, I think. Um, a somewhat of a legend around the school. Um, yeah, I think just rumours, general, general, general talk about, about Goose. Um, I, it intrigued me and I, I wanted to find out more. Uh, I mean, when was the first time you, you actually met him or actually saw him? Uh, well, yesterday, um, I, I, yeah, I, I met him. Um, you know, big life ambition fulfilled for me. Um, it was amazing. I, 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 I can really imagine it. A, a more uh, interesting person. What was the first um, emotion that came across you when you when you saw him? Well, thank you, Dad. Right. What what did you feel? <sighs> it's, it's difficult to describe, to be honest. Um, just I, I I think relief more than anything. I I I'd finally gotten to meet this this being this. I can't describe it. When did when did you last meet him or see him? Uh, that would have been with you downstairs just now before we came up to do this. I last saw the goose sitting down by the field. He was eating his popper corn. Um, it was in the library, and he was uh, him and his crazy notions. He's writing a book at the moment on dinosaurs. I don't know, it's his latest sort of fad, and that's what he's doing, uh, and I left him. Well, it's widely known around the school that the goose struggles to find friends, so we try and arrange to meet up on a weekly basis to gain some human contact, get him in the loop. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think because he's clearly trying to join in with people, but he just doesn't have the skills, the necessary skills to do it. But the financial incentive certainly helped us to kind of get a grip on it and help, help him. Uh, have you, when was the first time you met him or encountered him or saw him? When he was born, I was there, actually. Whether it was in spirit, in person. Who's to answer these questions then? It's not ours to choose. Oh, when, when did you meet him? When was the first time you saw him or encountered him? Well, I don't know, he's, he's just known him forever, I guess. I saw him, like, downstairs and shit, and he gave me this look, and that was all like... And then I gave him a look, which was all like... And it was brilliant, and we sort of nodded, and that was our meeting. Um, it was actually coming up to this room on the way up, and uh, I saw him. We exchanged a look, and in, in that moment, I knew I knew he had something. But it wasn't quite as much as what I had. There was something there. I don't know what the something was, but it, it was something. And the amount of that something was a little bit less than the amount that I have of it. Had of it. Um, 
Has has anything ever struck you as, as being odd about him? Anything stand out in memory? Yeah, the first thing I I noticed about him um, that was a little little odd was his gait. Um, how should I best describe it? I don't know. Horse like. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't. He wasn't quite asking for sugar cubes, but, you know, it was, it was quite something. His, um, we turned on a session with, uh, Boob Lady. What isn't? I mean, they're white, got a beak, they run around, they're the ugliest things I've ever seen. What isn't odd? Come on. Um... It would probably be easier to identify what's not odd about him, you know. It's just a multitude of things to pick from, so I probably wouldn't be able to narrow that down. I, I would say him and his entirety is odd. Has anything ever struck you as being odd, odd about him? Yeah, uh, he has this uncanny resemblance to this kid in the year below. I think they may secretly be twins. Yeah, he's a very odd fellow. Um... He certainly, but not sort of odd enough or eccentric to warrant, say, a film about him. Um, he's just sort of very, he's quite boring. Apart from, if we are talking about tech stuff, team stuff, I think we should mention the Benji and Goose box. Uh, cause, the Bangus you know, box. The, the Bangus box, if you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter because uh, he was totally meant to write my name on it too because we're like besties and we're like friends forever. Uh, but uh, he didn't. And I was like, that's harsh, man. That's harsh. And he was all like, don't care, it's the sound team box. Don't and I was like, really, don't, don't. I was also like, really harsh. What do you like about the goose? I love his cat, every single one of them. Even though he murdered them, da -na 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 -na. he killed every single one, da -na 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 -na. murdered all his cats, da -na 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 -na. and I love him for that. Well, I mean. His, his blonde hair, um, I, I try, uh, uh, you know, with all the sort of blonde enriching shampoos, but not the same. No, uh, there's not really much. Somet sometimes he makes jokes, but they aren't really that funny. Sometimes they're good, but no. Ooh, what do I like about Angus? I mean, I suppose he's got a willingness to compete with me. Other than that, I really hate him. Well, Angus is an avid MK Don supporter, so I don't think there's much more to be said. Well, man, I would just say that he really looks like Pokemon and stuff, and I really like that too. And, you know, we're just like, have you seen that Pokemon? And I'm like, yeah, man. And he's all like, yeah. And then we both agree that the Pokemon is awesome, and then we both try and catch them all, and train them as our course, and it's all awesome and shit. I, I think he's brilliant when he remembers the tap rehearsals. He's amazing when he remembers. Well, he has an excellent scarf, and that, for me, really brings him together. I almost feel like his scarf is him sometimes, and when I'm talking to him, I'm talking to his scarf. I don't know whether that's actually been a good thing or a bad thing, I, it troubles me at night, but there you go. Well, he's um, a good friend, he's very reliable, very loyal, uh, like a sort of Yorkshire Terrier. You don't think that he'll uh, run too far away, because where's he going to go? What do you, uh, what, what do you like about him? Well, everything. What's not to like? I suppose I've got to try and be fair. Feathers are quite nice, just not when they're on the goose. What do you like most about him? What's your favourite goose feature? <laughs> My favourite goose feature? Well, he's a wonderful, wonderful homo sapien. And his hair. <clears throat> mm, mm. Uh, well, is there anything you, you dislike? Anything you, you change about him? His hair, perhaps, would be one. But that would be me really sort of picking. Uh, okay. Well, 
If I was in a room with Goose, Hitler and Bin Laden and I had two bullets, I'd shoot Angus twice. I just told you I like everything, so I don't dislike anything. Well then, I dislike his utterly outrageous driving. Um, well, I'm trying to think of a nice way to put it, but sometimes he just talks too much and he just doesn't leave me alone. I'm trying to listen to my music and it's like, oh, Scott, oh, Scott, and it's like, no? Yeah, I know. Um, what do you dislike about him? What's the well, your least favourite thing? <laughs> well, uh, his fashion sense. The way he enters a room and thinks he owns the place. You know, his socks, they're just, no, not, 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 not about that. Oh, I don't really care. The way he enters a room, thinks he owns the place, thinks he owns the place with his socks. He is just a fucking idiot. Does anyone give a fuck about him? Always like fake nice to him, just like, Oh hey, how are you? Blah 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 blah. I don't really give a fuck. I've got nothing good to say about him. Like you would just see him run past. And just, oh god, what's that? This Angus, but he's, he's always lurking. I always give him the nickname the Lurker. He's just he's a bit of a, a bit of a twat, really, isn't he? Just, oh look at my fashion sense. He's a bit, trying to make a statement. It's one of those people that's just there. I don't really pay attention to him. I fucking hate him so much. People always say, oh, Miles was such a nice person, but I'm always, like, faking it, like, does anyone pay attention to him? Drives me insane. Just kind of figure in the corner of the room. Just, you know, it's a fucking So, what do you dislike about him? Well, I mean, specifically, there's nothing, nothing really. It's just sort of everything. You know, I see him... I see him every day and I see him walk around and he thinks he's the cock of the walk and I see him, see him talk and he's thinking he's the cock of the talk and you know, he's just, everything to do with him just aggravates me. But as I said, there is a little something there, not, not, not quite as much as the something that I, that I, that I have, but uh, there's something there. What do you dislike about him? Probably the bad puns. Um, yeah, they're bad. Bad puns. Um, there isn't anything really. I don't think you can criticise him on any point. Um, he's a fairly likeable fella. Um, I don't like the fact that he um, he's suddenly writing uh, this book. I don't think it's going to go very well for him. And uh, if he manages to, if he somehow hears that, uh, he probably knows already. The book is going to be a disaster. Well, he's an MK Don supporter. So he's perfect in every way. Yeah, I keep saying that. Well, he like wears hats and shit, and I'm kind of like, I want to wear hats and shit, but he wears them better than me. And I'm all like, well, he's kind of flaunting his hat wearing abilities by like wearing them everywhere. And that's kind of gay and shit, and that's harsh, man. Harsh. Is there anything you dislike about him? Anything that repulses you? Dislike? No, 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 no. No, he's, uh, he's perfect. Yeah, and a uh, final question. Uh, is, is he attractive? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yup. Yup, 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 yup. No. Not really. Not not in a human to human sort of way. So in what sort of way? Interstitial. It's not it's not you can't really define it like that. It's more of a spectrum rather than a yes or no answer. Okay. It changes day to day and how he treated me recently. And also what mood I'm in, because I matter. He's all I can think about. Well I mean yes. He is, for the most part. Uh, I can imagine if I was a female, I would feel a slight attraction towards him. Maybe not quite as much as that female who I would be would feel towards me. But there's, there's a little something there. I mean, <laughs> clearly, I'm... You know, the cock of, the, the cock of everything, really. But, um, you know... He's attractive, yeah. 
there's a little something, not quite as much as my something, not quite as long as my something, but there's something in there. Who wouldn't? I mean, it, he is a gorgeous human being. Okay, um, final question. Is the goose attractive? Well, it's safe to say we're all in agreement. Yeah. By interrogating the people at the Latin who have experienced the dangers of the beast, I've managed to triangulate his location. He lies seven clicks north northeast of Bullseye Nought 20, 120 miles. It's his favourite location, colloquially known as La Tanière de Goose. Tonight, I will prepare, using my many survival techniques that I learnt in the wilderness with the Squadron 433 para firearms. Tonight, I will take him down and bring him home. I must begin to collect all the ingredients I require to concoct my master plan.
Mr. Waddle, what are you doing? I do this every Monday morning. So, where's Angus? How the hell should I know? It's over. I'll never gander that goose.